Hi, I'm Glenn Dupke of Dupke Wellness. One very important aspect of the beginning of the journey toward health and wellness for all of the clients that I work with is really addressing their digestive system. You see, we've all heard the old saying, you are what you eat. I'm usually the first person to tell everybody that that's the biggest lie we've ever heard. You see, we're not what we eat, we're what we absorb and we assimilate. Even if you're eating organic, grass-fed, wild-caught, raw foods, and, and doing everything you need to do uh, as far as the quality of your food and cooking it properly and cooking it as little as possible, you know, there's still a chance that you could be being malnourished. All right? And that's due to the lack of the proper absorption and assimilation. Now, so with that, it's very important to have that as a focus at the beginning of your journey. You know, so with this, just to understand what is really going on when you eat your food. You see, it starts in your mouth with chewing. From there, your food will go down your throat, through the esophagus, into your stomach. In the stomach, it's going to first pre-digest with the enzyme activity in your food or the supplemental enzymes, the prime digestive support by Depke Wellness. It's going to then drop into the stomach acid where it's going to be broken down even further and then it's going to be released into the small intestines. In the first third of the small intestines, it's mixed with pancreatic juices. Bile is released from the gallbladder, help emulsify fat. And then it's going to travel through the small intestines where it's going to be absorbed and assimilated into the blood to be brought to the cells in your body. All right, from there, what does not get absorbed and assimilated moves from the small intestine into the colon for an eventual release of the body. And it's very important that this all happens in an optimal fashion. So in exploring the gastrointestinal health, I need you to look at what creates gastrointestinal challenges. You know, chronic stress on a daily basis. Now who's not living in that nowadays? Poor nutritional choices. The lack of taking a good quality probiotic such as the prime digestive support. You know, or this could be just a slow moving colon. You know, one thing that I want you to understand is that if you only have one bowel movement per day, that's still constipation. And there's a whole host of challenges that can be going on in the GI. There's protozoas, parasites, H. pylori infections, amoebas, entamoebas. These are some of the things that is very important to look at because what's going on in your GI is going on in the rest of your body. I'd like to thank you for taking your time out of your busy day to watch this video on your digestive system, your gastrointestinal health. Hopefully with this you've learned the importance of this being a first step in really regaining your health and vitality. I'm Glenn Dupke of Dupke Wellness. Wellness for yourself and wellness for the world. Thank you.